What's up, everybody? Um, I just first like to start by thanking the Will family, uh, Rick Spielman, Rob Brzezinski, uh, my agents, um, Ryan Toner and Chase Callahan for being able to get this done and for giving me the opportunity to be a part of this great organization and franchise for you know many years to come. So uh, there's a lot of people, you know, Rick Dennison, I owe a lot to, Phil Rauscher, he's done an unbelievable job. Um, you know, my family, my parents, my siblings, a lot of people back home who have, you know, put a lot of time into helping me develop, and uh, there's a lot more people I need to thank, and hopefully I'll be able to do that in, per in person or over the phone here this week. So, um, any questions? You guys always focus on football so much, but is there some part of you that does kind of exhale and say, I'm just glad that that's over with and can move forward? Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm exhaling that it's over. I would say uh, – I'm just happy to be here and be a part of this. Like, I just love being here. I love being in the locker room with these guys and coming out to practice every day and just like being a part of the organization and um, getting to play for this team is, you know, it's a privilege and, uh, you know, I'm just honored and happy to be able to keep doing it. Is there ever concerned it wouldn't get done before the season? Um, you know, I wasn't really sure. I kind of was out of the loop, to be honest, throughout the whole process. I was just kind of worried about playing good football. Um, but, you know, I just knew I wanted to be here for a long time. Um, I think they knew that. We knew that. So not really. Um, I just, I'm just i just excited to keep it rolling. Brian, I know you guys are always focused on the here and now, but do you allow yourself to look back at how far you've come just from being a second-round pick? Um, not yet. There hasn't really been time for that. We got about three or four days till we play a game. So that's kind of more what I'm focused about now. Um, we get to go out and play a game. That's probably the coolest part of this whole week is that football's back. And I just love the group we have. And um, I'm excited to go down to Cincinnati and rip it with the boys. Brian, there have been a lot of right tackles who have gotten paid this off season. What does it mean for you to be part of that mix now and what that does for the position? Um, you know, I'm not really sure in terms of what it does for the position, but um, hopefully what it does for this team and other linemen that come up on the team behind me um, can see that, you know, if hopefully there's an opportunity for a lot of other guys to have this kind of um, future with the team. And, uh, you know, just, I'm, I don't know, I'm just excited, sorry. Where do you feel like the offensive line is at as you enter week one? Where's the offensive line? I think we're in a good place. I think we're in a really good place. Um, I'm really, really excited to play next to Ole. I think he's done an unbelievable job. I'm really proud of him for the strides he's made. Um, and I think a lot of people are going to be really happy with Ole. And, you know, Garrett leads the show. Um, he's done an unbelievable job for us. Our communication's been on point. Ezra's only getting better. And Rashad has always been able to hold it down out there. So um, I love our group. I love our coach. I love our assistant coach. We got a great room. and. Uh, this is the most excited I've been about an offensive line here, and I think um, hopefully we'll be able to see the results. But we got to go out and prove it, and we got to go out and prepare today in order to have success on Sunday. Brian, when an organization shows its faith in you. What does that do for you personally, as as a player and, and a person? Um, it means a lot, just because they believe in me. Um, but at the same time, it means I got to go prove it just like I had to go prove it when they drafted me. Um, I got to prove them right. And, you know, they believe in me just like they did four years ago. But um, time to go prove them right again. So uh, the chip just gets bigger. With a couple new starters, Coach Zimmer said that he thinks there's some unknowns with the offensive line. For somebody who's been there and kind of been that consistent force over at right tackle, did you take is that like more of a personal responsibility on you or pressure of just like what you guys have to go out and prove this year? Um, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say there's any extra added pressure or responsibility because there's new starters. I think that level of pressure that we put on ourselves stays the same and the standard that we try to play at is the same. Um, but I think that the group feels like we have a, a chance to be really good. And I think everybody believes it in our offensive line, and we should. And the guys, um, all the other guys on the line, myself included, like we should feel good about it because um, you know, we've been working hard, but we got to, you know, Cincinnati's really good. They have some really good players up front. Um, they got two really good outside edge rushers, and they're huge up front. So um, it'll be a good test to start, off, start us off. I got a lot of respect for them, but I'm excited. Brian, you've had different right guards every year. How do you build that chemistry with Ole when you get into the real game situations? You know, I think with Ole it helps because he had played right tackle uh, for the past couple years since he's been here. So, you know, 
when, when you do individual drills, you kind of work with guys at your position. So me and Ole have been doing all of our drills before he started playing guard together for a couple years. So I understand how he thinks about blocks. He understands what I think about certain angles and um, placement of linebackers and things like that. So um, that rapport kind of has been built for a while. Um, and just we've just you know got to continue to build on it day after day after day. But a um, lot of faith in Ole. Ryan, as you were going through this process, what was was there a certain moment where it got to a point where you said, "Yeah, this is what I want," or a certain thing that got done that where you said, "Yes, this is this is acceptable to me. Let's go with it." Uh, the certain point was earlier this off season when I said, "I want to be here no matter what," um, and I've known that for a long time. Just the people we have in this building, and um, you know, the you know everybody around here. I just want to be a part of it, um, and I'm happy to be a part of it. So. There was never really a doubt as to whether or not something was going to work or not in my mind, because this is where I want to be, and this is, you know, I want to be a Viking for my whole career. What are, what are the challenges as an offensive lineman? I mean, barring injury, you play 100% of the snaps every week, whereas defensive line, they tinker with the, with the snaps, different styles. Uh, you know, it's a totally different mental or philosophy on number of snaps. What's the challenges for you? Uh, I mean, being able to recover day in and day out and be at your best 17 consecutive Sundays. Um, I mean, my plan and our whole alliance plan is to play 100% of the snaps this year, 1,500 snaps, whatever it, whatever it is, whatever it takes. It's my responsibility and my job to be ready for all the other guys on the team. So um, it's kind of just what it is, you know. That's the nature of the beast, but we love it. We embrace it and just excited to, you know, try to go the distance. You thanked a bunch of people at the, your opening statement. Is there a player, specific player, that helped you the most uh, get to this point in your career? Um, I can think of two off the top of my head. Uh, one is number 99 for us, Daniil. Um, he just he pushes me every day to get a lot better. Um, the intensity he brings and the energy he brings to practice um, is contagious, and it makes me a lot better being able to go against him every day. Um, I've said it before. And then um, for the past couple of years, I've you know been able to lean on Riley a lot um, just because everything he brought to the O-line room and meant to me as a person. So I'm excited to see him this weekend. But, you know, all our guys, Rudy, Thielen, um, you know, everybody who's played here before, all the O-linemen, Mike Rammers, Josh Klein, Nick Easton, uh, you know, everybody who I've been able to be a part of has played a role um, and been able to play next to. Dakota, Drew Samia, everybody that I've played next to has in some way or another, you know, hopefully helped shape my game. Hey, Brian, I might have missed this, but how long is the contract extension through? Um, I don't, uh, five years? I, that's, yeah, I don't know what year, but five years. Nice just to have that now completely done then for the foreseeable future. That's great. Um, it's great because, you know, once Monday hit, all this stuff I stopped thinking about, you know, um, it's about Cincinnati and being able to go out and have a good first game and being able to go prove that we can be the offense and the team that we want to be this year. And um, it's all about the games now. That's the best part of this whole thing is football's back, fans are back. Um, you know, in a couple of weeks, we'll get to see our fans at home, which is going to be sweet. So um, just, you know, everything football's back is the best part.